Hey guys, TechEekHD here again with another video, and today I have the review of the Swift Key keyboard for iOS 8. Now, a couple days ago, or when depending on whenever I upload this video, it could possibly have been yesterday, I uploaded the review of the... what was it here? Hmm, I'm just guessing with you guys. I uploaded the video review of the Swipe Keyboard for iOS 8. Uh, now, this actually comes after the launch of iOS 8 and Apple's ability to incorporate third-party keyboards system-wide. Now, a very popular keyboard on the Android platform made by a company is called SwiftKey. Now, SwiftKey is uh, rather popular because of a couple of reasons. A, because it has some really, really good predictive text and it's a lot easier to type on than the stock keyboard that would normally come on most Android devices. Now that the iOS platform has opened up this category for developers, I bet that pretty much every company that's made a third-party keyboard for Android is probably going to jump aboard here and try to make some money selling their keyboards to the, to the new platform and all the new potential consumers. So anyway, without further ado, let's actually actually get straight on into the review. Now what I'm going to do similar to yesterday is open up the notes app and create a new note uh, and enable the swift key keyboard by holding on to the little globe icon and coming up to swift key. Now unlike the swipe keyboard that I reviewed the other day, this is actually available for free inside of the app store. Swipe was actually 99 cents, and I kind of regret the purchase a little bit now since SwiftKey comes with the same exact functionality that uh, Swipe incorporates in having the swipe to type type of gesture. Now that was 99 cents wasted in my opinion simply because I think that SwiftKey is a much better all around keyboard. I think it looks a lot nicer. And when you hit the little globe icon, it actually lets you use some of the smileys that uh, that's, uh, Swipe over here is actually very, very difficult to use. It only gives you one smiley, uh, I mean emoji, it depends on what you call it, but I prefer Swift Key qu uh, quite a bit in comparison to Swipe. So I'm going to show you guys over here as I type out something over here, uh, it'll correct it as I type something. Okay, that was just a little crazy. Over here, as I type something, it gives me a lot of different predict uh, predictions. Something that I uh, that I have been a little more whatever i mean it's basically predicting a lot of words that the more you type on it the more it kind of understands the kind of language that you use and it's going to predict uh words that allow you to complete sentences and overall add to a better typing experience now another thing uh that swift key does with swipe also does is actually allow you to swipe to type so i'm just going to type out something here um we'll start with hello my name is Aditya. And of course, I haven't updated the spelling here. I have two A's, so we'll go with that. Um, and I make videos on YouTube. So it's as simple as that. It's a lot quicker than sitting out and typing each word out. And I think that this is overall a really, really interesting option. Now, if you guys would like to know how to enable third-party keyboards on your device, I will have a, uh, a video coming up on that very shortly. So if you don't know how to install them or you don't know how to run them, and if you would like a specific video on how to do that, do remember just to stay subscribed to the channel because I will have an in-depth tutorial on how to enable enable third-party keyboards on your iOS 8 device. So either way guys, that does about wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, please do remember to leave the video a like rating by hitting the little thumbs up button in the bottom right hand corner of this video. Uh, and for more videos like these as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials and much much more along with a lot of content for the iPhone 6 because I actually pre-ordered uh, an unlocked 64 gigabyte space gray iPhone 6 today. So I will have a lot of iPhone 6 content including an unboxing, a full review, impressions, comparison with the iPhone 5s. Uh, as well as a lot more so do remember to stick around and subscribe for that again guys thank you so much for watching today's video uh, i hope you guys have a great day and as always i will catch you all in the next video peace